why you need to read Wild Strawberry. Wild Strawberry takes place in Tokyo, where for an unknown reason, plants completely engulf the city. The plants are actually a parasitic organism they call Jinka. It spreads through its pollen, and after taking nutrients from its host body, it blooms, which leads to the death of its host. While they have developed a vaccine, it is not affordable for some, which leaves the place with lower income a feasting ground for Jinka. Inner Tokyo, specifically, is a place that suffers heavily. In Inner Tokyo is where we find our main protagonist, an orphan named Kingo, and an orphan named Kayano. Sometime in the past, they were invited to become part of someone's family. After being adopted, they are taken to their new home, where they join a seemingly normal family. Later that night, while in bed, Kayono wakes up her brother to alert him about something. They go downstairs and listen in as the people that adopted them discuss who gets to eat which child, realizing what happened, they, they quickly get upstairs. However, their new parents quickly head upstairs and reveal themselves to be Jinko, who quickly eat them. After being put into the mouth of Daddy Jinko, plants start to form inside his mouth until it bursts open to reveal Kayono with plants coming out of her right eye. That was the day Kayono's Jinko bloomed and saved their lives.